TikTok made me buy it. Um, one of my friends, she sells those wraparound waist trainer or waist trimmers. So, you know, I had to buy it. Um, I'll let y'all know how it is. So, yeah. Y'all seen it on TV and seen it on TikTok and, of course, YouTube. It's just these black things that you wrap around. It's supposed to help with waist training and slimming you down. So, what's a girl to do but to buy it? <laughs> I took it out of the Ziploc. And, uh, like I said, it just, it's really long and it just wraps and wraps and wraps around you, around your waist. So, yep, yep. So, your girl's gonna give it a try. And when I bought it, uh, she had a, you know, she had one that you could try on. Because, you know, when you see these commercials and people trying them, honey, I had to make sure there was enough material. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to start trying it starting tomorrow. TikTok made me buy it. Y'all, I had a whole lot of soup left. Let me tell you something. I think I'm going to eat off this a couple of days. Hey, saves time. Quick and easy. This leftover soup is still good. It's even better now because all them flavors are marinated. Y'all, I've been busy already already so i'm finna it's lunch time yeah so yeah this is what's for lunch today <laughs> let's get it Hey y'all, I was I think I've told y'all this before. I don't ever get rid of my bread and butter chips or liquor. <laughs> I always uh keep it and I cut up either cucumbers and, and onions up in it. I love it. It's like a relish, it's something I like to snack on. So I've got some cucumbers I'm gonna cut up in here. I just finished um just taking the uh you know of course the skin off of it and i just cut me up some cucumbers up in this bad boy just different variation sizes chunky thin and then i'm gonna also cut up some onions in it love it love it love it and just let them sit overnight or you know half the day yeah it'll be ready so just a fyi that's some good brine in there y'all Go to an appointment, get my eye looked at, and then I'm gonna uh, roll to uh, Wally World, then roll over to Mama's, and then roll back home, and then roll into the bed, <laughs> and then uh, Wednesday night, which um. Wednesday night, please join me over there on Abide in the Vine. Uh, I'm going to do an hour of prayer. And um, it's going to be just specifically for health, for uh, depression, anxiety, um, 
I mentioned it on my video yesterday about how a lot of people are just going through a lot of things, your families, you, you personally, um, and it's just been pulling on my spirit. I've had dear friends reach out to me, of course, people on this platform, um, people who send me personal messages, personal prayers, um, just, you know, as a woman of God and just, there, there are just people that they, outside of, of course, we all know how to go to our Father in prayer, our Abba Father, absolutely. But we also need people that we can gather together in prayer. The word still says, if my people will gather themselves in prayer, I'm talking about people with a mustard seed of faith will come together corporately with one mind on one accord and just lift up in prayer about some things. We don't have to specifically call people's name out because we already know God will bless us on our thoughts. God knows everything that concerns us. But again, it's going before his throne and acknowledging who he is. It's about activating your faith. Oh my God. So we just, I, I'm just, you know, we want to come together. Me and my mother will be just in prayer. We solicit you to come. And be in agreement with us about praying about specifically health, depression, and anxiety. Oh, it's real. It's real. And for those of you who need someone to just agree with you as we pray about things that concern you and your family members, your children. Oh my God. You might be waiting on a test result. There are some ailments going on in your body. Oh God, and you and you just need somebody believing with you in the spirit. Oh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we are dealing with some spiritual things in high places. You know, and we just need somebody that will humble themselves along with us in prayer. Amen. So that the Lord, what? This is what God said. Then I will hear from you and heal the land. And we're in the land, aren't we? We're in here and we need some healing. Mm. So anyway, come join us and we're and that's what we're gonna deal with. We're just gonna be in there praying. Just prayer. We believe God for whatever healing that you believe God for. And continue to meditate upon that. As you see the manifestation of God's power. cover you in your life. Amen. And anyway, y'all, it's about to be five o'clock. Anyway, y'all, let me, um, uh, ooh, it's a lot of construction going on, y'all. But you know what? Sometimes it can be a, a, a nuisance and an aggravation. But you know what? When you see construction going on, what's that a sign of, y'all? Growth. Ooh, it's aggravating. But it's a sign of growth. Isn't that the truth? Oh, it's a sign of growth. Hmm. Anyway, y'all. Y'all be encouraged. Be encouraged. Get on to this appointment and then we'll go to Wally World. 
Ooh, the shelves are bare. But I still believe God that he shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Not that you're being cocky, not that you're being braggadocious. But I make my boast in the Lord. There may be famine in the land. Oh my God, for some. But I thank you, God, that you have also reminded us there is a prepared place for prepared people. We have to prepare for those things. When you see things happening, and you've been made aware of things, a lot of times, listen, y'all. I'm gonna be. I'm being honest. I'm not. I'm being serious. Sometimes we need to stop sitting back, waiting on folks to tell us everything. Pay attention. Look, look, look. When you want things, ain't nobody got to tell you. When you want something and you want something in your life, you ain't never had to wait on somebody to tell you. But then when stuff come up on you. You want to be you want to be able to you want to blame Tom, Dick and Harry, but oh no 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Some things stop sitting back waiting for somebody to always have to tell you. Be proactive. Stop being a reactor of things. It's all it's it's, it's good sometimes to be proactive. So you can be prepared. Oh yes, I hear you, Daddy. <laughs> talk about talk about my earthly daddy. Oh, it's better to have something and not need it than to need it. Y'all can finish the sentence and not have it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, he used to say that thing. Mm, 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 mm. But that's the truth, y'all. Now that's a life, life lesson that you can carry on for the rest of your life. Oh my God. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Oh God. It's open enrollment right now for, in, uh, for health insurance for mo in most, places, most places, most jobs. October. Open enrollment, and, and and you look at you look at um you look at your health insurance and all the electives that you can uh, sign up for. Young people, yes, it's a blessing to have a mindset that you're invincible, that your bones won't snap, crackle, and pop. But let me tell you something: one accident can wipe you out, honey. So uh yeah, get you some some uh health insurance. Get you some eye insurance. Get you some dental insurance. Oh, you might be young and beautiful and invincible. But well, while you're working on that job or wherever you are, you bust a move and go in that cafeteria and, and bust a move and chomp down on you a pork chop and chop down on that bone the wrong way and you chipped and cracked that tooth and that beautiful smile is no longer and you got to go and get that tooth fixed and, and they tell you it's going to run you about $800 to get that tooth fixed honey and them uh them Jordans and them uh what's the name of them other type of shoes y'all like Honey child, let me tell you something. You might, honey, you might think you're going to do them Jordans that cost 300 so you can show them off on the Instagram, honey. But it, them Jordans ain't going to match too pretty when you got uh, a chipped tooth. Oh, it's real, honey. Like Al Sharpton. Now, I'm keeping it real. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> Yes, huh? Yeah. You 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 okay 
when you want to pay $250 and $300 for a pair of tennis shoes, honey, but it's another thing when that doctor tells you you got to pay $800 to get that tooth fixed. Yeah, that's a different type of cost. <laughs> Y'all understand? So, young folks, pay that $20 a, a pay period or whatever it is and get you some health insurance, honey. Cause when you get that bill, you may, you get you get sick and you have to go into the hospital for a week or so, or you got to go to that emergency room because you don't twisted your ankle running after that that girl, cause she don't decided to start dating Danny instead of you, and you go running after her, and you 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 crack your ankle, and now you looking at a fifteen thousand hospital bill, honey. Oh yeah. Anyway, y'all, let me go on in here and get get my eye treated, and uh, we'll head on the water well. Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to come on and just show y'all I'm so excited. I am on Hulu, y'all. <laughs> I want to shout out one of my viewers who brought this to my attention. Her name is Zoe Hartley. Here is the communication. She let me know, hey, Lady T, you're on Hulu. And the name of the show is The Next Thing You Eat. I'm on Season 1, Episode 2, where they're talking about burgers. And of course, y'all know I love a Whopper. So I'm just showing you the footage, all of, what, two seconds. But hey, I'll take it. All right, y'all, and just like that, that was it. <laughs> but anyway, that is kind of exciting. Out of everybody that's on social media, it is kind of fun to see your clips on different programs and or TV shows and or commercials. And that's just an encouragement to anybody looking to start a YouTube channel. You never know who's watching your channel. You just never know. And like I said, they use your clips, but you never know what kind of exposure that will bring. It can cause your videos go, to go viral. It could cause different companies to want to do brand deals with you. I mean, I have so many emails, y'all, where I need to hunker down and really read uh, I've gotten so many emails wanting to do brand deals. But again, that was fun to see. They also had Damn Drops. Uh, he was on this. Uh, one of his clips was on this episode. But shout out to Damn Drops. He also has a uh, show, a series on Netflix. He has a whole food review show on Netflix. So shout out to Damn Drops. Um, that is really awesome. And like I said, he does food reviews over here on YouTube, of course. And uh, he's gotten his own show in Netflix. So again, you never know who's watching your, your channel. So again, I thank you all for being a, bit, a big support and letting me know what's going on outside of the YouTube streets. Again, thank you so much, Zoe. Anyway, love y'all. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye, y'all.